Hi guys, uh, today we are going to learn about Dijkstra's algorithm. So believe it or not, this is the way it is actually pronounced. So we will get a question like this and we will be asked to find the shortest path. So what do you mean by finding the shortest path? In computer networks, we have a sender and we have a receiver. The sender sends some frames or information to the receiver. But between the sender and receiver, there are many paths which the message can take. So basically that is the job of this algorithm. It finds the shortest path for the of the message for the send from the sender to the receiver. If anyone of you has seen the TV show Numbers, then a mathematics professor uses this algorithm to actually find the most possible escape route that a hijack hijacking truck takes. So yeah. That's what this does. So what does this algorithm basically state? Uh, this is one node. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are the nodes we have in a computer network. So what do we actually do in this algorithm? We visit an unvisited node and we see its shortest distance from the root node. Once we visit that node, to go to the next node, we always see the distance from the basic root node. Okay, so now I'm gonna explain this with the help of an example. So, I'm gonna start now. So, I'm gonna write all the nodes here first. So, at the beginning, you consider you are at one node which is not in any of this which is not present in the network. So, your distance from that node to any of the nodes is infinity, right? So, initially all the distances are infinity. Now, suppose you want to start from the root node. So, if I start from the root node, initially I will start from 1, which means I am present at 1. So, if I am at 1, then my distance from 1 will be 0, from 2, since 1 and 2 are connected, the distance from 2 will be 4. Since 1 and 3 are not connected, they are not directly connected, so distance between, there is no distance between 1 and 3, so we are going to name it infinity. 4, now 1 is directly connected to 4, so the distance between 1 and 4 will be 8. 5, is 1 connected to 5? No. So again, distance will be infinity. Now, what we do? We have this row. We see which is the minimum distance here. 0, 4, infinity, 8, infinity. The minimum distance here is 4, right? Since we have already visited 1. So next we are going to visit node 2 since this has a minimum distance of 4. So uh, this is my visited column. So the next node I am going to visit is 2. So this will remain 0, this will remain 4. Now I am at 2. So from 2, I have 1 and 3. Since we have already visited 1, we are going to only look at node 3. So what is the distance of the node 3? But since we started from our root node, we have to check from 1. So what is the distance of 3 from 1? 4 plus 3, 7, right? So, this infinity we will change to 7. Now, 4. To see 4, we will have to check this path, right? So, what will be the distance? 4 plus 3 plus 4. That is what? 11. But, earlier the distance from 1 to 8 was already 8. 1 to 4, the distance was 8. And from here, this path if we take, the distance is coming to be 11. So, we have to choose the shortest path. So, even though it is coming 11 this way, we will let it be 8. And for phi, this distance will be what? 4 plus 3, 7 plus 4, 11 plus 7, 18. Since it was infinity, 18 is lesser, I will put down 18. Okay, so now I have visited 1, 2. Now, which is the smallest among 7, 8 and 18? 7, right? So, the next node we visit will be 3. Okay, 3. 3 is connected to 2 and 4. We have already visited 2. So, that leaves us with 4. 
so i'll write this down as it is okay so now what is the distance if we same way if we go if we travel all the way here to reach 4 the distance again will be 11 but from 1 to 4 the distance is already 8 so we cannot change that distance so this has to be 8 and for 5 again to travel through 3 we have to take this path so the distance remains the same 18 now between 8 and 18 8 is smaller so next you're gonna visit node 4 okay so now we're on node 4 so for node 4 node 4 is connected to 1 and 3 so first I'm gonna write down these distances as it is so node 4 is connected to 1 3 and 5 but 1 and 3 already visited so we will look at the distance from 5 so initially the distance was 18 but now if we go from the root node towards here the distance will be what 8 plus 7 15 right so initially it was 18 now the distance is coming to be 15 so we have to choose the minimum distance right so this distance is 15 so now we go to the fifth one our distances are going to remain the same so basically using this algorithm we have found the minimum shortest distance of root node 1 with every other node so basically shortest distance of 1 from 1 is 0 the shortest distance from 1 to 2 is 4 from 1 to 3 is 7 from 1 to 4 is 8 and from 1 to 5 is 15 so if this is the root node this is the sender and it wants to send the message to the receiver a router for example say at node 5 then it will know that the shortest path is 15 so this is basically Dijkstra's algorithm um, thank you guys